once again welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to swap the head of any image using photoshop so we're going to do head swapping basically that's what we're going to do this is the original image and you can if you notice this is the original image but i decide to use photoshop to swap the image and then i added a different head so this is the head i used so i changed the head of this particular image and i try to blend this color for everything to look perfect so i'm going to show you how to do this how to use the head of a different image and then swap it over to a different image so stay tuned for this Remember to subscribe if you are new to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my updates okay there's going to be a lot of tricks photoshop tricks web design and programming and amazing tricks coming up right here on this channel in order not to miss this subscribe and turn on the notification bell so let's jump right into action and see how we can do this head swapping okay so i'm first going to turn this off turn the other image off and i'm going to create a new background so i'll go to file click on new so set any size you want i'm going to change my unit to inches and it's going to be 20 by 25 inches that is the size i'm going to use and i'm going to put the resolution around 300 and then i'll click on what create so this is going to give me a background i'm just going to zoom in a bit okay so that is perfect all i need to do now is to get my first image and i think i have the original image here and all i need to do is to drag it on top of my new background and i'm going to enlarge this a bit i want to see exactly what i'm doing so i'm actually going to zoom in so i see the perfect image i'm going to work with it's actually my fashion design i want to design it in and you live in ghana you can just let me know and then i'll link you up okay so this is the image and i'm going to swap the head i'm going to remove this head and then add this particular head okay i have a different head over so this is my image and i'm going to change it over to this and try to do some blending to that so let's see how we can bring the other image okay so this is the image we're going to use this is the head we're going to use on top of that you can easily use the quick selection to to actually select this and then you can select and then cut this image on top but i'm going to show you how to use the pen tool to do that that is actually going to be perfect compared to this okay so i'll zoom in and then use the pen tool and then just select around this image if you don't know how to use a pen tool and then you want me to do detail video on how to use a pen tool just let me know at the description of this video so you select around this image perfectly select around this image using the pen tool so i'm basically going to select all around this image using the pen tool and make sure i'll do the cutting it's going to be perfect so i'll go ahead and then just click over here and then make sure I cut all around this image so just going to take you some few minutes if you know how to use a pen tool it won't take you too much time to do this if you know how to use a pen tool so I'll just select all around this image I'm not going to cut the entire image I'm only going to cut the head okay including the neck that's what I want to use and come down here select around this image then make sure where i started from i will just join that i'll join the anchor point and all i will do is to right click and go to what makes selection click ok so you're going to select around the entire image i can zoom out now for you to see you can see the entire head has been selected Control x will cut it but I just go to edit and I'll go, or you can just copy from here and then go to the image you want to replace with. So I'm going to go back to we'll go back to edit and then click on paste. So you're going to paste this head on top of this. So we have the head over here, and then we can drag in, drag out to resize this. So let's make sure we have an equal size. It shouldn't be too much. Okay, so this size to need to be equal down that it will not balance. So other than that it will not balance so you can see i'll just click on this to confirm this so the head seems to be similar now and all i need to do is try to position it on top of this okay let's zoom in and then let's see what we'll do next 
Okay, so we don't want this head, the old head to appear. We need to let this vanish and I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get a copy of this image. So from the layer background, just select the main image, Control J on your keyboard. It's going to give you a copy of that. And let's turn one off. So what we're going to do is that the copy of this image, we're going to use, go to the tools menu and use the eraser tool. And let's try to increase the size a bit. And then we'll try, let me reduce it too much. You can use the square bracket, the left square bracket to reduce that on your keyboard. And let's try to blur this head off. Let's try to click on it and then we're going to blur this. We don't really need this. But we're going to replace it with another one. So we can reduce the brush and then just try to blur it off up to this stitch. We are not going to blur everything because we will need the neck. Okay, so go back and then select my original the head i want to replace with and try to just position it on top of this okay and we also need to get a copy of the head in case we want to do any change i can just press ctrl g it's going to give me a copy and i'll turn one off so i'm going to zoom in a bit so that we can get a perfect blending now okay so from this stage i think i need to enlarge the size a bit from this stage, all we need to do now is to try to blend this with the original image, that's the head. So I'll go back to my eraser, select the eraser tool, reduce the brush size a bit, and then try to start clicking below this image. Okay, just click below this image and it's going to play, blend this with the original image background. Okay, okay. If you made any mistake, I can just press Ctrl Z to deselect that. And I'll go back to my original image and then I'll try to blur that part as well. Okay. Okay. So I will just go and zoom out so I can see what we've done so far. Okay. This is perfect up to this stage. Remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial. So I've been able to blend this up to this stage and I want the head to move a bit to the right, okay, and then down a bit. You can use the arrow to do that, okay. But you can see the colors are not the same. The, if you compare the original image, which I'm going to move over here, let me move it to the right. So I'm going to move the original image to the right. You can see we need to blend this and then the color to at least be uniform. Okay, so what we're going to do is that I'm going to select this, hold down control or command on your keyboard and select the head from your layer panel. It will be highlighted and all you need to do is go to image and go to adjustment and then go to auto match, match color. So from here, all we need to do is that the source, we need to select the source. That's the head and then the layer we're going to select our layer from here okay so our layer just make sure you select the right so this is our layer and i've selected the layer from here and all we need to do is to click on okay or you can just make some adjustment you have the luminance color in intensity you can do some few adjustments in order to improve on the color so you can see what i'm doing try to improve on this color you can also increase the color intensity you can have the luminance you can do a lot of adjustment to this color and make sure this is perfect okay so i'm going to leave it around 100 for now okay i'm going to leave it around 100 and then i'll click on okay so this is going to make my color look a bit better now Control d will deselect everything and then let's try to zoom out let's try to zoom out so you can see this is not looking perfect okay so remember to subscribe for more tricks photoshop tricks graphic design i'm going to show you a lot of tricks web designing program it's going to be a lot of tricks so you can see if you compare this to the other image this look better now so we've been able to blend these two images we're able to swap this image and it's looking perfect thank you so much for watching this short tutorial like come here remember to subscribe and also share this video with friends then don't forget to continue to visit my video like and share with friends till i come your way again bye bye